Located in Dundee, Scotland, Abertay University is an IT-intensive university that wanted to replace its aging AV systems across its campus with a state-of-the-art, fully monitored, integrated AV solution that would deliver ease of use for the lecturers. After a period of evaluation, the university chose Kramer Electronics to provide its K-Touch solution linked to either touch or button panel controls in 85 rooms, theatres and other spaces across the campus. Hello, I'm Mike Shaw of Kramer Electronics UK. Many of the rooms here include Kramer Electronics devices for video transmission and switching and we're hoping to show how they've successfully integrated them into the systems and use them for teaching purposes. Okay, so we're stood at a typical setup uh, for the majority of teaching rooms. And in all the rooms they have uh, a piece of furniture like this, so this is the lectern furniture. Um, they've built into the furniture uh, connection plates here, uh, and as you can see we have the RC74DL um, uh, control panel. This is a 12 button control panel with uh, rotary volume control. It also features LCD um, feedback panels where if I press a button it gives some feedback about what is actually being shown on the display. This control is being used to control the switcher which we'll show you in a short while within the lectern but it makes it easy for lecturers within the university to come along they see a standardized control system and it's all based either around the 12 button panel and in some of the other rooms there is a six button control panel. Okay, so we've just taken a look at the control system in this room, which you can see on the top here. We've got a connection plate for auxiliary uh, facilities and there's a monitor here for uh, the lecturer or the, the speaker to see what's going on on the main display. Uh, there's also a microphone um, which uh, can be switched on and off here which is fed through one of our switches, which I'll show you in a moment. That's the top of the lectern. Then there's a keyboard for use for the main PC in this room. And then working down, we've got the main PC, we've got the Blu-ray player here. And if we look down here, opening these doors reveals the main switcher in this room. This is a Kramer VP770. This is one of our new range switches. This controls all the video switching in this room along with the audio. We've got two HDMI inputs, two PC inputs, which are VGA, a component, two composite video, and a display port, which is quite new, unique for these switches. It also controls all the audio routing, and the microphone is fed through this switcher along with the other audio sources from the laptops a PC, Blu-ray, etc. in this room. So on top of uh, the switcher, hidden away at the back, is a TP580T CAT6 transmitter. This is an HD base T transmission device. We're coming out of that directly on CAT6, straight into the projector. So as you can see, we've had a quick tour of the uh, lectern and the equipment in here. This is a very uh, simple system, but it's very effective for the university. It allows many connections of external devices, and it's easy to use for the lecturing staff. If we just take a closer look at the control panel again, and we just go back to consider what this panel is, it's not only just controlling here in the room, it is connected to an AV VLAN, which means the technicians in their office can monitor the systems. So every system, every controller in this university is on the network and they use site control to monitor the systems, see whether it's on, off, and what status this is. Looking at some other features of this as well, I mentioned briefly about the mic mixing of the switcher. So when I rotate the volume control here, I turn up the audio of things like laptops or PCs, but I don't affect the microphone level. This stays static, so we don't introduce any feedback. Very important, and it's a key feature of the scaler when using microphones with it. Okay, so let's just have a little look how simple it is to turn a system on in this room. 
lecturer comes in or the speaker or a student, whoever wants to use the facilities, and there's a simple button here that says on. You press the button and straight away you get some feedback. The button flashes green and it says system starting up here. Whilst we've done that, I've pressed that button, it's turned the scaler on, it's switched the projector on, and it's also lowering the projection screen in this room. So the press of one button has performed the action to set this room up ready for use. Just looking at the panel again, close up here, you can see the active LCD panels, just giving you some feedback. You finish the session and you simply want to leave the room, press the off button, and the system is powered down automatically by the control system. So in this room, we've got quite a few complex issues to deal with. First thing, we've got uh, a more sophisticated control system because there are more devices we want to switch and control. And we've done that using an iPad, and we'll show you in more detail in a minute. This is using K-Touch application, Kramer K-Touch. In this lectern, we have a, another scalar switcher built into here. And we also have an HDMI wireless receiver. This is connected to the scalar. And I'll show you the reason for that in a moment. Out of this scaler, we use HD base T transmission. We transmit to the back of this lecture theatre where there is another scaler switcher and another rack with other facilities. And we'll go and look at that in a moment. Okay. Now we're going to take a closer look at our K-Touch control interface. This is an iPad and it's mounted securely in a bracket so it prevents theft and uh, any misuse of the device. It's on a flexible arm as you can see which allows the user to adjust it for comfort and simply by touching the panel we can now bring up the control system and the events of turning on the system, lowering the screen and setting up the rest of the facilities in this room. So looking closer at the uh, touch panel layout, you can see that we've got various virtual push buttons on the panel. We've got the room PC, the podium, which we'll go and look at in a moment, document camera, VGA, HDMI display port. And the panel gives you some feedback as to which button you've pressed. So there's a little glowing light in the corner of this icon that gives you that feedback and that confidence that you've selected that device. We have the ability to embed other controls in touch panel control. In this room, we have this button that enables us to change the lighting in the room and also take the screen up or the screen down manually by the press of a button. You can look in closely at the panel, you can see how clean design we've got here. This is customizable, and this was uh, developed in conjunction with the university. They've got their own logo on the screen, and it's a very clean design, easy for people to use, very large buttons. So if the visually impaired are going to use this, they're able to see the buttons and hopefully be able to control the system easily. At the end of the session, it's just like all the other systems. You can simply power down the system. It asks for confirmation and then it powers down the system leaving it ready for the next person to come along. Okay so looking at the back of the lectern we're going to just have a look at our switcher again and another device that I want to point out to you. So here we've got our scalar switcher again. Again uh, it's from our VP77 range this is a VP773 scalar switcher in that we have four HDMI inputs on this device, two PC, which are VGA, composite video, and a display port. Again, it does audio. This device has an HD base T transmitter built into it, and we'll talk a bit more about that in a moment. The KW11 receiver here, this is an HDMI wireless receiver, and we're taking wireless transmitted signals from the podium, which we'll go and look at in a moment.
Okay, so here we are at the podium. This is remotely situated from the main desk and there's no access for cable routing. So they've had to deal with that in a different way to get the transmission of the signals from here to the main desk. In here, we have a VP435 scalar switcher, which is controlled by a two button control panel, simply selecting either HDMI or VGA input. The output of the scalar switcher is HDMI, which goes into a KW11 transmitter, which goes to the receiver in the main podium into an input on the VP773. So we're transmitting HDMI signals from the podium to the main desk wirelessly. No need for any cables between the two areas in this room. So just considering the scalar setup in this room, again, I described it earlier, the VP773. This has an HD base T transmitter built into it, which simply means we can come out on a CAT6 directly. And we're taking the CAT6 route all the way to the back of the auditorium into a receiver ready for transmission onward to other devices. Let's go and have a look at that now. So we're at the back of the room now and you see the view of the front of the lecture theatre and we now take a closer look at another control panel at the rear of the room used simply by the engineers. This has more complex features and control on it to enable the engineers to do more sophisticated control of the room when they're supporting conferences. So looking closer at the control panel layout, you see that the engineers have control not only of the front podium area devices, but also devices located at the rear of the lecture theatre. Okay, so we're at the back of the room. We've already described the control here. This is the main cabinet housing most of the equipment in this room. So taking a closer look at the facilities in the rack, from top to bottom, we've got radio mic receivers, Allen and Heath audio mixing, amplifier, Blu-ray player, patch panels, another VP773 scalar switcher, and the SL12 and SL1 controllers, which the two K-Touch control panels in this room are negotiating and talking to to make the control of this room possible. Okay, here we are in the uh, the library at the University of Abertay, Dundee. Uh, here is a group learning room with the PC-based lab and um, slightly different uh, control panel being used in this room. So this is very similar facilities to our other areas within the university that we've looked at. Uh, this is a smaller control panel, six button, still got the rotary control uh, now for volume and all the other facilities fairly straightforward and the same as before. Uh, loudspeakers fitted in the room as well, also uh, manufactured by Kramer Electronics. On driving these, we have a small amplifier within the uh, lepton unit. So here we are in the uh, cinema room. What's this room actually called, Nathan? The HMC Cinema. HMC Cinema, and it's based in the Students' Union building. I uh, use this for uh, cinema, as uh, the title suggests. Again, we're using our K-Touch application in this room to control the facilities in the room. And it's similar to the main lecture theatre on the main campus, and again, easy touch panel control just to switch the system on and off. And as you can see here, we've got uh, the panel control again, in case the engineers or technicians want to control the cinema uh, from the uh, rear of the room. Over here, you can see we've got the racks, mixing desks, and again, just highlighting the Kramer scalar switcher, the VP773. And here are our master controllers that the K-Touch panels are talking to. Mm -hmm.